it's morning coffee time. This is a kind of text message that I absolutely love. I've just had a message saying that my delivery is going to arrive between 10.48 and 11.48 today and that my driver will be Glyn. So now I know that I've only got to be in for that hour today and that saves me hanging around all day. And that's the most annoying thing when you've got a delivery coming and you don't know what time it's going to be. So I know I've got time to go out and do my shopping right now. So my first stop this morning is at Wilkinson. I'd actually forgotten that everywhere is closed. Well, not everywhere, but a lot of the independent places are closed on a Monday. So I might have to make my next stop at the supermarket. These are the tissues that I love. So I've got lots of those. And I've got a little basket full. I've got so much stuff in this floral balance range. I'm going to have to practice some self-control here. I actually came for magnets, and that's the one thing they don't seem to have. Okay, I've got everything in the port floral balance range. Look at those cake stands and the saucers and cups, paper plates. I want it all now. Luckily, just keep my eyes open. I'm quite enjoying all this early bird stuff. It's only quarter past nine and I've got all my shopping done. So the post's arrived and this is my new tea tin that I ordered. It's... <laughs> It's a lot smaller than I imagined, but then it only holds 100 grams of tea. It's got like, well, I think it said rubberized on it, but it feels a bit foamy, the stuff on the outside, but it's definitely a tin underneath. And then the lid comes off. It does look nice with the lid off. It's got this little metal stopper. And then you put your tea inside there. It is nice, but I'm... I need quite a few tea caddies, and this was seven pounds, seven pounds seventy it was, which I don't know if it's a bit expensive for what it is, especially as I'd need to buy so many. I'll put my tea in it and see what it looks like in the cupboard. It is, it is a nice design on it. So my tea caddy does look really good in the tea cupboard. The other thing I'd have to think about is how I'm going to label them because I've got quite a few teas um, that would need labeling so i'd have to have some way of distinguishing which tin was which and they only come in this one color it's just the outside of the tin i'm not so sure about it feels almost papery and if it did get splashed or something i'd, I'd worry about what would happen to that pattern on it so fortunately pomona was open which is the green grocers just around the corner and i managed to get my pomegranate which i was after that green grocers next to wilkinson's i'm not sure if that even is it still in trading anymore it never seems to be open when i go past but it is monday and a lot of traders do do close on a monday one of the things that i got from wilkinson's were these cherries it's a brand i've not heard of before urban fruit cherries and it's it's just dried cherries and there's an energy bar recipe that i want to do and i haven't been able to get a hold of dried cherries i i went to the health food store last week um, and i couldn't find any couldn't find any in in waitrose but i ended up finding them in wilkinson's which is Bit of an odd place, but I'm interested to try those. And I also got from Wilkinson's these latte glasses. I got two of these, and they were two pounds each. They are quite thick, but I think that's good if you're having something hot in them. And for that price, that's that's really good, and it's perfect for like lattes and hot chocolates. And as you know, I've been loving the um, coffee machine recently, so this is this is perfect and a very good price as well. There are no quick tips that I have with pomegranates. I've made such a mess. This thing is like flown over the place. I've done half of it though, but look how many seeds you get. You get loads, you just gotta have a bit of patience with it. I've tried turning it inside out. I've tried tapping it with a spoon. It, it hasn't worked for me. I've just had to get in there and do it with my hands. You really don't want this um, pith-like stuff in it because it's really bitter. You just have to get rid of it. It takes a while. If you know how a better way to do it, let me know. I, I haven't found one. So I made these with the pomegranate seeds and they're just covered in chocolate and then I set them in the fridge and they're just little chocolatey treats but when you bite into them the pomegranate seeds are still intact and they all burst and it's really juicy in your mouth they're really good. So I'm going to take my pomegranate chocolate and I've just poured some almond milk and I've got some crafty bits to do in the other room. It's a little bit cold in here so I brought my little hot water bottle in with me and I just started reading a book and it's called The Day Book of Comfort and Joy and more 
one of the things it suggests doing is like a dream board treasure map type thing so I've done something similar in the past I've been cutting little bits out of magazines and I'm going to make a collage this afternoon it's an exercise in like focus and mindfulness so that's what I'm going to do this is my book I've kept this for a while it's got lots of quotes in that I like so I thought that might come in useful I've got some magazine clippings and some little stickers and gems to make it look a bit pretty so I'm just going to get crafty and do that so for tea we're having some leftovers, we've got the pulled pork, some lettuce and the olive tomato and garlic basil bread. So I'm just mixing up some energy bars, these are going to be a cherry almond one. The base for them is like chickpeas and oats and this is the almond butter. It's, um, it's less buttery than I was expecting, it's quite oily, I've mixed it all up. This is another recipe. Um, from the No Meat Athlete, so I'll pop the link below for that. I've pressed the mixture into a tray now and I'm going to bake it in the oven. It's um, quite nice actually, it's quite almondy, almost like a praline, um, but with almonds. The almond and cherry bars are out of the oven. They're okay, they're not really something worthy of going on the blog just yet. The recipe needs a few tweaks. I'm always quite surprised with these, how plain they turn out. So one thing I found is that the flavour is really mellow with cooking. You have to put a lot more um, ingredients in it that are going to really pack in the flavour, than more than you would imagine. So these ones, they're okay, but they're just a little bit on the plain side for me and I'm looking for something that really is full of flavour because I mean Trevor's eating these as like um, an energy booster type thing but I would be interested in replacing you know a sweet snack with them but I would need some intense flavour hit with it so I'm gonna play around with the recipe a little bit more this one I think that the dried cherries just don't have enough flavour to them and it's funny because I had difficulty getting a hold of the dried cherries and normally you get cherries in like a syrup and um, maybe that's why there's not so much flavour. I, I don't know, something I've got to look at anyway, but I'm gonna pop these away now and probably gonna head to bed because this getting up early means I also need to go to bed early because come half past eight, I'm, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow, guys.